Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Test Automation Engineer. Indeed, this one is not a tutorial, but a wrapping up session to just quickly wind up on things and to remind you that what exactly could be something important for you to take care of. Well, 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 finally we are at the end of this particular playlist. It takes really a hard work at any point of time to build such playlist, which certainly helps you with all sort of preparation without attending a training in the classroom. So I have put my uh, efforts here just to make sure that you get everything what you really want. Uh, now it's time for you to put that equal preparation and that's where your preparation matters a lot. The training can give you the details, what you really need in terms of understanding the context, but preparation part from your side plays an equal value to succeed in this examination. So you should never underestimate the preparation part which you should do. But anyways, thank you for making it up till here. And it is very, very crucial that you completed the entire playlist, but it is very important to make sure that you remember everything what you have been through. There might be a lot of content which you have never dealt with in the real world, so it might be difficult to remember. So try to put your efforts more on that particular area and uh, try to make sure that uh, you especially concentrate with more details and examples there. So you need to identify what your weaker areas are and what exactly will you do to remember them better. And there will always be something like that, right? For every one of you, you may have something different. So that's where we would like to have this quick conclusion session, which would even wrap up on other details once again. So on your screen, we have the information that is chapter wise breakup. So chapter one will have three questions, two will have five questions, three will again have six questions, then we'll have four with the four questions. Chapter five will have six questions, chapter six will have four questions, and chapter seven and eight will have six questions each. So all in simple word, I can say that chapter three, chapter one is pretty to the point, so they have less contribution, but all other chapters almost have similar contribution to the examination. And put together, there turns out to be 40 questions in the examination. The total points will be 66 and the passing criteria would be 43, which is 65% of that. And exam length would be 90 minutes. But if you are in a country, you're taking the examination from a country uh, which where you don't talk English as your primary language, then certainly you will have additional 25% time of this total time, which would add something more extra to your preparation. So. That's pretty much on the breakup, which many of you would be interested at any point of time. And rest, of course, through the sample questions, we have given you a lot of tips and tricks, the way to uh, crack the examination, the way to answer the question, how to bring the context when you're reading the question, and then each option, every single word plays a vital role. So do not lose that grip, what you have built in the foundation when you are going through this preparation as well. At the same time, do not forget those tips and tricks from the foundation as well, which could be a great help here. And uh, at the same time, try to see the rest of the questions from the make mock paper. Many people would think of looking for some dumps. Let me tell you, these are specialist certifications and except that one mock paper, you would not find anything on the internet as well, not even from the fake people, okay? Because these are specialist certifications and creating mock papers for them are very hard. But however, you can just give it a try with the chat GPT and ChatGPT can help you to generate some random questions and then based on that you can try your preparations. But remember one thing, ISTQB examinations are not about dumps. The questions can be anything no matter what you're prepared. So syllabus plays a vital role, your confidence plays a vital role and understanding the structure is enough with one mock paper as well. So there's no point having more mock papers. However, if should you wish, uh, you can try some of the other sources which is like chat GPT, etc. to generate the automation uh, sample questions. So that's pretty much what I had from this particular tutorial. We would look forward to see you again in one of the other tutorial series with other certifications. And at this point, all I would like to wish you is very all the best. Thank you so much for making it till here. I'm glad that I could help you with all my knowledge and give you some kind of confidence which can help you in the certification process altogether. Thank you so much for being here. Indeed, it was a great pleasure sharing my knowledge with you. So that's all from this short tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.